came up with five New Year's resolutions for you and you clicked on this for a reason. We might be here because you want to start a garden from scratch this year or you already have a garden and you want to improve it. If you're like many of us, you have the same old New Year's resolutions. Maybe lose some weight or eat better or save some money. Well, if that's the case, today I'm going to share some goals with you that will check all of these boxes by using permaculture. So cheers to you. Welcome to True Freedom Permaculture, where I show you all the tips and tricks you need to have a green thumb, even if you weren't born with one. My first resolution sounds kind of easy. It's to rest and observe your garden. Winter is nature's downtime, and we all lead such crazy busy lifestyles these days that we can all benefit from a little bit of rest. Now, just because you're not as physically active in the garden doesn't mean you're not actively doing something for your garden. Use this time to really watch your garden because honestly, watching your garden is just as important as working in it. But use this time to reflect and think about the prior season if you had a garden last year and think about what worked for me, what didn't work for me, what is something that I want to incorporate next year. And you can use all this information to come up with a better game plan for the upcoming year. My second resolution is to try something new this year. Change it up a little. Maybe you're an expert tomato grower at this point, and I hope you are, but you can challenge yourself to try something new. Or maybe you heard something was really difficult to grow and you're gonna give it a try this year. You might fail, but so what? You tried and you learned something in the process. Growth doesn't just come from the end result. It's all about the journey. These experiences help you to expand your skills and knowledge. The third resolution is to realize the value in your garden tools. A good quality garden tool will work so hard for you and the better care you take of it, the longer it will last. And who wants to buy a new garden tool every year or two anyway? If you'd like a guide on how to clean your tools properly, I go into it in depth in this video. Buy the best quality tools you can, you'll probably be glad that you did. And my fourth resolution is to produce less waste. And this is gonna come naturally as a result of growing your own food because you're not gonna to have to go to the store and buy vegetables that are already pre-wrapped in plastic and you're gonna be eating less processed food which comes with a lot of packaging. Now, if you're like me, being around a lot of clutter drives you a little nuts. So when you are surrounded by a clear and organized space, that's gonna affect your energy a lot differently. This year for your seedlings in the spring, you could try losing those flimsy plastic containers and maybe try rolling your own newspaper containers instead. I talk about it in this video if that's something you'd like to learn. The fifth resolution is to grow something for someone who needs it. And this could be one of your friends, a family member, a coworker, or just anyone in your life who you know could benefit from a little fresh food. And you don't have to have a large plot of land in order to do this or tons of money. This could be something as simple as an herb or give them some seeds that you harvested yourself from a plant that you grew. Give them an extra seedling in the spring that you don't need to plant. Anything like that will be very welcomed and appreciated. One of my favorite things about gifting these sorts of uh, growing things, I guess, is that you know every time I walk past something that was gifted to me in my garden or in my home, it makes me think of that person and that's something really nice. Let's learn together this year. I feel really good about the content that I'm putting out there and it's so gratifying. And I'm thrilled to be sharing what I've learned with you. I still continue learning, so it's not like, oh, I'm done learning. No, this is a lifelong process and I learn new things all the time and I learn new things from you too. And it's really exciting for me to see a small community of people growing with similar interests and who are somewhat like-minded, but it's nice to hear different opinions too. Hugo and I would like to thank you for watching our videos, for liking them and subscribing and leaving comments. I read them all and you know your words of support are what keep us going. This winter, I'm going to be rolling out a series of videos where we break down certain permaculture tips and techniques together, and that way this spring we'll be empowered with more knowledge. If you're looking for even more garden motivation, check out this video that's coming up now, because in it I go over the reasons why growing a garden directly benefits you. I will meet you over there.